All right, I was, I was gonna make it. I, I turn the volume up a bit. I hope that's fine. I was gonna make an effort to play on the 3DS and do an upside down microphone thing, but I don't know how the upside down microphone people do it. Uh, I feel like you could hear it reflecting off of my desk and like. I couldn't, you can't look at the 3DS because your eyes are where the microphone is. So, we're just, <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and play on the computer screen. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> I bought stuff. I think they want me to explore the castle, but these dugons are in the way. I, I was like, let's just think of a random word to call these guys. And I called them uh, something that's actually in the Mario universe. This place even has a hotel. Boy, I sure hope it's not haunted. All right, fellas. Bean person. Okay, I thought he said he was from the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't like this. Something like something about this place feels dystopian and uncomfortable. Maybe it's everyone saying it's epic. It's so cool. I'm such a hater for this game. I was like, I was uh, like uploading the first video and I was like, this is gonna be such a bad first impression. I'm like, should I apologize when writing the description or something? It's true, the outside did really look old and decrepit. If I wanna get to the six hour mark, I gotta stop sightseeing. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna do what I want, okay? That's like, the problem is I have this huge backlog. I haven't done any recording or streaming in like three years. It feels like uh, I'm very behind. So there's always the pressure to just finish the games. But then if you do that, you don't enjoy it. And then you don't want to play them because it feels like a chore. Blah, 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 blah. It's a big old thing. It's a big old conundrum that's happening in my brain. We're going to try to ignore it and just play the game. The problem with 3DS games is there's the stylus, and I'm just, like, moving it out a little and pushing it back in a little with my middle finger while I'm doing this. I am on the screen. Ah, uh, the island's lore. Perfect. The Pillow Kingdom suddenly fell. You're gonna give me lore and you're just gonna tell me it fell? Oh, okay. Oh, is it like, why did Rome fall? Is it because there was lead in the pipes? That's one of the reasons I remember from high school. Wait, that's, that's the worst lore ever. Where, where in the castle? Is it like the thousand year door? There's a thousand year door under the castle that needs to be opened by getting the MacGuffins and all the treasures in there? It says, they say somewhere, who knows where that is. This looks like a trap door. I sense calamity, yep. The fact that they could stand on there at all is uh, pretty crazy. You! Back there we found this ancient hidden area. Of the petite footsies. Or petite. Okay. Too damp. <laughs> Priorities. Something protects the treasure. All right, let's go. Talk to this guy. What is this, an RPG maker game? We can't, we can't just like walk up there and then the game automatically does it. We have to talk to an NPC to activate anything. Oh, but I gotta look at this in 3D. Oh, oh shit. Thank God I'm looking at this in 3D. This is kind of disorienting, I'm gonna be honest. But think. 
Something like this needs depth perception. Princess Beach and Toadsworth were really bad about getting the coins that are here. But thankfully, with my three-dimensional vision, I can tell where all this stuff is. You know, I always... Oh, shit! I was... <laughs> I always joke about how, uh... Like, oh, if only... Like, if the game has depth perception, I'm like, oh, if only this was on the 3DS. And here I am, making use of that right now. The funny thing is, I, like... I'm looking at the 3DS now, and this is better than when I had the microphone upside down. I just have to hold the 3DS up, higher up, which I did there, and that's why I missed the coin. Which honestly is better for your neck posture anyway, so... You have to be very serious about your neck posture. Right now, I'm kind of going through it. I think it's called, like, ankylosis or something. Um, maybe it could be that, where, like, your joints fuse. I don't really know what caused it. I just woke up with it one day. And now I have to wait. Oh, oh, the 3D is breaking. The 3D is breaking. Well, I didn't even move anything. But, uh, just woke up with it one day. I think it, it's probably because I've had neck problems because I would spend years with a laptop on my stomach. Oh, I, re I recognize this song for some reason. Anyway, take your posture seriously. Otherwise, you'll end up like me and suddenly get ankylosis and have to wait um, three weeks for a CT scan. To find out what it, it even is to get proper treatment, so. Look upon the ghost that haunts this castle. My name in horror is Smoldergeist. Wow, what a great name. It's almost like horror, horror Boros. Wow, so cool. I'm such a hater, I'm sorry. None may pass through. You must suffer the fate of all intruders. He's kind of a cool guy other than the name. Okay. I think that Princess Beach and Toadsworth are dead. Well, unless it's movie. It's been a while oh, since you fought together. But for Luigi, I have my doubts. It's really important. Kind of like the crux of the entire series. I did not heal Luigi. I don't need to. Good thing I gave Mario more defense. Honestly, do I... Well, the bottom screen has the map, which could be useful. I don't know. If you have any feedback, please do it in the comments. Because um, I might record these in bulk, but this is literally... Like, yesterday, I only, uh, I only recorded one. And <laughs> this is the second day. So I'm recording this the day of uploading. Well, not really. I'm uploading it in approximately 12 hours, but you know, whatever. No! I guess you guys know everything. Even if you throw a new mechanic at me, like cards or something. Oh, also there are items. But you healed me and didn't tell me about HP at the same time? Anyway, what I'm saying is if you have any feedback about how I should be doing this, um, like with the screen and stuff, then, uh, let me know. Because it's just full screen on my big TV, but maybe you're watching on your phone or something. And then it's like, I'd rather just see all the action. Because, you know, Yokai Watch 3, I had the American banner and everything, and it all formatted, and I'm like, I don't, I don't think I really need to do that now. See, I'm kind of like, um, eyesight pilled. I gotta stop talking like this. But I'm kind of in the idea that it's good to, uh, use dark mode and stuff to preserve your eyesight. Uh, so a black screen where there isn't game seems fine to me. But I don't know, maybe that's not the preference, so. None may approach the revered one. I like this song. See, one nice thing about playing new video games is that I get to listen to the soundtracks, like, seriously, and then, uh, sort all of the songs that I like into my ever-expansive highlights playlist, which is really an album. I love how Mario and Luigi walk up to it, like, to listen intently. They're so polite. 
the airborne terror, the test of jumping. Can you possibly survive this horrific aerial trial? You dare learn about this? No. Are you sure? Can I convince you to listen? No. I hope you mourn your decision for eternity. So this is just the big tutorial area. I do remember this. And I just, I remember it. Oh, they, they want to teach me how to... He's, he, that's kind of funny though, because he's probably... Oh. <laughs> he, he, he's got, he teaches you. He's kind of a nice guy. Likely not. Will you hear about the next test anyway? No. Are you sure? No. You do want to hear it. No. I hope you mourn your decision for eternity. I think every uh, game should say, I hope you mourn your lack of tutorializing for eternity. Both red and green suffer. Brains ache with effort. In the depths of despair, here you surrender. Oh shit, I was supposed to pay. I think it was Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario, Mario. I wasn't even paying attention. I was worried that I wasn't going to get it if they still showed it to me, and I got it when they didn't. Right after the pink one. Did you have uh, pink blocks? Pink and brown blocks? I guess Princess Peach is kind of killing it. I do like this, uh, this tutorial character. You could go, he's reminiscent of the chests from, uh, oh. He's reminiscent of the chests from, uh, the Thousand Year Door, if you want to equate everything to the Thousand Year Door. Which I sure do. It's like, I love the Thousand Year Door, but... I am, I'm callous. The problem with living long is that you hear things repeated more often and you become less tolerant of it. And that's kind of the case with uh, what people say about video games and such. If, why, this, this series feels like it's being depressing, but why, hold on, what else is there to talk about? Can you spot the odd one out? I think it's the one that's um, spinning clockwise, I have to imagine. It looks like they were going to stop spinning. What is what is this, Piranha Pop Stars? The test does not end yet. I'll let you get no closer. I mean, should I go back and fight those guys? I think I'm fine. Honestly, also, like, it's like in Pokemon. It's like in Legends Arceus, which we just did, where being underleveled created a more interesting uh, scenario. Oh no. Oh no. When I was a kid and I played Superstar Saga, um, I couldn't beat the uh, I couldn't beat the border jump. <laughs> and you might be like, Chris, isn't the border jump the first thing in the game? Yes. What if we make things a bit nastier? Oh, oh, shit. I, I'm just following one that I think it is. Okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. At least I'm not penalized. I was like, what? The blink, the one being different being the one that's blinking is kind of easier. And then they started doing this and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was, his ass was not paying attention. Ouch. Well, crud. It might be a retread, but um, I still like it. The music plus that is making this sound bad. Like the phrasing of it just being the, the depths of this castle is cool too. It's a weird thing to do for a tutorial area instead of like a happy grassy area like usual or something. Or ru I guess ruins is kind of common though. It was a close shave. It's not really deep in the castle, is it? I guess they said they recently found it out. Master Mario. 
I sure hope Luigi doesn't fall asleep on it, awakening an ancient sleep demon. I mean, it looks more like you sit on it. Can I switch the brothers? That's weird. X jumps Luigi, even though A jumps Mario. I guess <clears throat> if you want to jump Luigi on the top button and Mario on the bottom button, then that choice is yours. A rectangular rock looking thing. <gasps> that what a what a weird way for these to show up. What what? Like if you got them from a shop, it makes sense, or like if they gave them to you. Oh, Take these commemorative badges for your stay at Pillow Island or whatever. It came out of the evil Antasma pillow? What? What? No. No, let's not. Uh, I press select. Oh, look. There's a new badge icon here. Try choosing badges. When you fill up the badge meter, you can do one of the things. It's such a weird mechanic, but, you know, it works. Alright. 50 minutes already? Holy bursh. You haven't done anything. No, don't, don't, can I tell you not to do that preemptively? Oh, I hope Peach doesn't sleep on it. You know, I feel like if it was actually pronounced Pillow, um, then they would have said, Wow, Pillow I like Pillow Island, that's convenient. Maybe it is Pillow, even though I remember promotional material. Saying just pillow. Looks rather pedestrian for a treasure, I should think. I love you, Toadsworth. I guess we'll just go backwards. Master Mario, an exit, if possible. Little rats. Pay the price of your transgression. Power of 3D. Oop! Boss music. I don't know if I can jump off these guys. Need a badge lesson? No. You can trigger different effects depending on the badge combo. Try various combinations to find the one that suits you best. What did I tell you? Just so you know, if you touch this icon here, you can see your progress on expert challenges. When you'd like to know about expert challenges, touch this icon. But first... These things look hot. You might hurt yourself. Okay, I got it. Let it blow. Are you saying I'm gonna have to blow into my microphone? But where did that come from? What? Come on, hurry up and attack. Is this game okay? Smoldergeist. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me... L is to cancel. That's very strange. You will accumulate points whenever you clear expert challenge conditions. Hitting point targets nets you rare gear. Select each title and press A to check out the types of challenges. During one battle, use only the jump attack. Get excellent for all your attacks. Get excellent 10 times in a row during battles in Pillow Castle. Dodge 10 enemy attacks in a row in Pillow Castle. Okay, so they have like little achievements. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm probably not gonna grind those out. Uh, that seems like it takes a lot of time for not that much gain. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't want a lazy shell anyway, if that's what they're gonna give me. We'll just hope that we get them passively. See, the problem with enemies in this game is sometimes they're just way too slow. It's probably why- oh. 
That's probably why they did the top first. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know why that matters. <laughs> Earlier, Chris. Uh, well, that guy's up. Is it something about the way, like, the jump takes a while, but that one, like, in that time, it just builds a lot of anticipation for the second input. I like it a lot. I do remember, like, enjoying the battles in this game, um, for that reason alone, even if they were pretty easy. Nothing really stopping you from doing both at the same time. Which I have a feeling they put in the game. Because, like, I don't know, maybe this is just me projecting. But when you're a kid and you're like, you find that out, you ride to that high for uh, the rest of the game where you're like, oh, but I could cheat the system by just jumping with both of them at once. And then sometimes it doesn't work, so it doesn't feel too cheap when your brain is like 10 years old, so. You know, I'm like, the music in this game isn't that good. I kind of forgot that I like this song a good amount. I'm really bad at that one. If only we had hammers. Do we have to get them again? Do Mario and Luigi just not have them? I was going to say, I hope that's the right guy. Nice and lucky. <laughs> I was like, I should do it earlier. <laughs> that I did it too early. Something's really stopping you from mashing, too. You're worried about that. This guy kind of didn't get back up. Cozy wear. All right, we're almost we're almost there. Excellent ten one cleared. Is there an excellent ten two? Excellent ten one. Excellent ten two. Excellent jump cleared. 17 points. So the question is, what stat do you put it into? Now I could be an optimized Andy, or I could just throw it into the one that's my favorite. Okay, that's what I was asking for. Look for the one that has the most threes and fours. Mario has to dance and listen at the same time. Yep. When your rank goes up, hey, well, you, you'll see. I don't remember what rank does. Seems kind of useless to me. BP is like, uh... oh shit, I thought it was like a roulette. I didn't know you actually timed it. Okay. Well, time to load my save state and get the highest number possible because I'm a loser. I failed. Why did I fail? <sighs> well, I gotta, I gotta honor the word that I didn't say and give you an exit. Princess is still concerned, so we shall remain here. Would you mind? Would you mind terribly seeing if the coast is clear? This is dangerous. We should not let you out of our sight at all. Like, would you really want to stay near this sentient statue at all? I certainly wouldn't. There's just a guy here. Who are you? Oh, it was. You guys couldn't have made a bridge or something? The thing people whisper might be in the castle? The treasure? No one ever even sniffed it. It was You could have probably seen it across the way. The collection room. There might be a monster or two around. Sorry about that? What is it, your fault? The problem with the word sorry is like, 
whenever you say it, it's like, it has the implication that, uh, you're the one at fault, even when it's just like, oh, I, I, I feel bad that you have to go through that. I feel like just walking past all of them is gonna, like, really hurt me in the end of the day, but... We'll see if it gets bad, then I can just grind in a Mario and Luigi. Yep. Oh, we're just back. It's like the gift shop. No, wait, okay, this is like the museum. Never mind. If only Princess Peach came with us. In fact, because that guy was like, oh. This is just, this just moves back to the castle. We should have gone back and told Peach that it's safe because there's just a random guy here and he's fine. Incroyable. I guess there were monsters around, but whatever. Junk. No rabble allowed. But I don't want it. There's this gay glow around him. Ah, yes. The ancient bed. Okay. Why would you do that? Why would you let him... Mario, I'm so tired. Can I have this pillow? It's like a pillow. I mean, can you imagine not sleeping with a pillow? Speaking of neck problems. The pillow that the prince was using. This man falls asleep in an instant. I wonder if, uh... That's why Luigi, like, Luigi falling asleep in the beginning of Luigi's Mansion 3 immediately. It's just like a character trait of his. He's a man of consequence. I don't... This is like, this intro, everything about this game is so confusing. <laughs> like... The flow is insane. It's like... These plates were excavated during development. The island resort is believed that the pillows use this type of flatware in daily fare. Our resort construction immediately halts when artifacts like these are found. As a result, some areas of the resort are taking longer over the public. We apologize. Why are you, like, writing an apology in your museum display? It was worshipped. The Great Bird protected the island from natural disasters and other evil fates. This is the Mothra of the Pillow Kingdom. Alright, and that's it. Like, there's a light coming down on the bed, and he's still falling asleep. Note the sturdy construction and noble pattering. Yep, that was the, I said that word correctly. It draws the eye and lifts the spear. Well, I'm weaving, sorry. Bowser. This castle's gone Bowser's. I'm glad you made it, despite my lack of health. Does that make sense? They came downstairs. Did we move down at all? I don't think we moved down. Oh, wait, we did. We did. We did. In the monster room. I think something is wrong with Luigi. Something always is. Huh. A vision of his dreams? No way. There were people who could enter the dreams of others. Now that's lore. The 
power to reflect the dream world. Highly irregular that we have yet to meet the man. Foreign, he's handling foreign affairs. Where is he? What? He's just gone. My word. Dozorth is smart. No. no, I'm not. Okay, bye. You mustn't. Into the dream world. I like how Mario just dives in. Mario will bring her back for sure. He always does. It's time for the game mechanic. See, the problem is, like, in Bowser's Inside Story, when you were inside Bowser, it was 2D sections that I didn't really care for compared to 3D sections. And then in this game, the Dream World sections are 2D sections. Uh... So it's like the game, the main mechanics of the game are kind of like actually detracting from it. What is this, Super Mario Odyssey? Where did she go? Did she, was she not there? Okay. Meanwhile, I think Paper Jam didn't have that problem. It was all 3D, so like, you know, I kind of like that game. We're in the space between worlds. The dream, you are now entering the dream world. What is the, is the ghost saying help me? Mario and his cartoon swimming. I just want to get to, like, a point where I can save. I should be like, what does this look like in 3D? Does it look good? Yeah, the portal does look like it goes back quite a distance. It's not just the portals in the background and then that's it. Mamma mia. I feel bad. The 3DS was a good idea. Everyone hates it. The Wii U gamepad was a good idea. Everyone hates it. I'm the only one who respects, uh, respects these things. Though it is kind of like not working <laughs> for me right now. Okay. Well, we can go save Princess Beach next time. This is the dream version of the song. Sorry, I'm trying to get the 3D to work. <laughs> Look, okay, but when it works, it's cool. When it works, it's cool. Okay, we finally made it. An hour in, we have made it to the main mechanic of the game. Through all this, like, all this NPC dialogue that, like, I don't care about. I'm such a hater. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get, we'll get to the part where I enjoy it, surely. 